Uh, foot's feeling great. Starting to get back in all the all the different events. Uh, Going to be able to run and, and you know everything's on pace to be ready for the Olympic trials. And good news is I'm as strong as I've ever been, and my fitness level is at an all-time high. So as soon as I get the keys to the car, I'm, I'm gonna take it. What's the, what's the time frame looking for to get you back running and, and all that? Uh, just taking it day by day. Like I'm not trying to, to put a date out there and say it's this now or never kind of thing. But every day I'm able to do more, and every day there's a little less discomfort and. Um, Heading to Indianapolis next week to hopefully have my last round of treatment and be ready to rock and roll. Now, in, in 2012, when you when you won the silver medal, you you had what Tommy John surgery? Yeah. Ten months before that, and how much does that help knowing that you've been through this going into an Olympic year? Yeah, I mean we we kind of we got the cookbook, you know, <laughs> like we know exactly what we need to do, when we need to do it, and we we've done it before, so. I mean, it's been pretty stress-free for me. Okay, you got the injury. You're not getting any younger. What, what makes you still want to get out there and compete and, and, and go for a third Olympics? I feel like a million bucks. I, I feel as good as I've ever felt. Uh, I live an amazing, and they, I've got, I can't complain about a thing. And so, and I still love what I do. You know, I'm going to go until my body tells me to stop and until I can't do it anymore, until, until I can't do it, I'm, I'm not stopping. You know, we watch you, we watch you win NCAA championships, you set, set, set records here. What, what's the mindset you have to take into Olympics? And, and, and how, how bad do you want that gold? Is, is that like one of the main things or you just want a medal? I just want to do my best, you know, and I think the mindset, the mindset is you have to, you have to be confident. And that's built through training, through sacrifice, through, you know, goal setting, through all that stuff that, you, that starts way, way back years, years and years ago, and, and especially in the fall of this year, I was going to do everything in my power to be ready to go and ready to win a medal if, if that was if I was afforded the chance. And so that's it. You want to step in line with confidence, and that's it. Confidence is really, really dangerous. How much does confidence play in this and, 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 and physicality? I mean, we know we've seen you do, do all the, the different events, and we know that you can physically do it. How much of that is mental? All mental. I mean, confidence is all within yourself. And so to know that I've done it before, to know I don't even have to be at my best to kind of to be there, and um, it, it makes it a lot easier. There's a lot less stress. What I was saying earlier, it's just I, I'm living a great life, stress-free situation. I know what I have to do, and I know I've got plenty of time to do it. So, um, yeah, the fact that it's I've done it all in the past, and it, I got all that stuff in my back pocket makes it a little easier. You, you talk about the confidence and all and all that, but what, what do you have to take? into this one i mean is there something different you do this one this this time around i think i'm enjoying it even more i think the first the first olympic team in 2008 i had a lot of pressure on myself i felt a lot of self pressure uh i, I it was unneeded and then like in 2012 with the tommy john injury even making the olympic team i was like okay man i'm what even supposed to make the team now i'm kind of playing with house money let's just go out and have a good time and now this year man so few people even get to make one one olympic team i have a chance to make my third I, i've been playing with house money all year so it's been a much much more enjoyable experience this go around uh much less stress and it's just been a lot of fun. It's been really fun. You talk about having fun this year. You talk about feeling like a million bucks. And, yeah. and once the foot foot comes back, do you feel like you're still one of the top guys in the, in the game? Absolutely. I, I mean, I'm one of a handful of people that has a chance to win a medal and one of only a couple that could win. And that's that's kind of my mentality when I train and what I'm training for and, and to put myself in a position where on that day, I've done everything I can do to give myself a chance to win. What's the, what's the rehab like now? I mean, what are you going through now? What's the, what's the process? Right now, everything's stable and everything's as powerful and as strong as I've ever been. It's pain management right now. So now it's just waiting for kind of bones to heal, like the bruising and stuff around the bones, and then, I'm, then I'll be fine.